morning, FHS, and welcome to this week's edition of the Saber Roar. I'm Jamie. And I'm Jesse. Today we are coming to you from the detention room, a place you don't want to be, reporting on some things around the school you may not know about. Let's see what you're missing out on. Starting this year, FHS has added more support for students who are struggling in classes. In order to make peer tutoring a bigger and more successful program this year, some FHS students recently went to Neighborville North High School in Illinois to see how they ran their tutoring program. They liked the way the school ran their program and that it was more student-led, which motivated FHS to evolve our program to make it more beneficial for all students. We have tutors that are trained and can help you in any subject area, which is really great because if you're in freshman level classes or AP classes, there's somebody that can work with you. Tutoring is located right off the main commons area and is available to all students every morning in resource. Be sure to stop by if you need help in any class. If you need help in any of your classes, don't miss out on this peer tutoring opportunity. The environmental club, which was very popular among students last year, is back. Eco Club is back for its second year at FHS. Last year, Mr. Gain introduced the club to the school and students found the club very enjoyable. The club participates in different activities to help out the community, school, and the environment. So, um, we do service, we do education, and we do recreation all based on the outdoors and the environment. And uh, around here, kids try to do stuff for the community, um, service related. Including helping out the community, the club also goes on many outdoor trips, which includes whitewater rafting, trapping porcupines, and canoeing. The club is also now involved in archery, so if interested, come to an eco club meeting. Eco Club is open to anyone and everyone is encouraged to come. We try to make it flexible, um, even athletes who are in season, we try to give them the opportunity to show up when they can. We need to see that kids are getting outside, uh, getting in the environment, helping out the community and doing something um, that's really worthwhile away from all the electronic devices and the indoor things. That they Eco Club meets after school on Tuesdays from 2.45 to 3, so come to a meeting if you're interested. Anyways, this year FHS students were able to showcase their own original pieces of music at the Creating Music concert. Recently, FHS students in the Creating Music class participated in a concert where they got to showcase their original pieces of music. The concert took place in conjunction with the Creating Music class. It was one of their final projects to uh, write pieces for uh, rehearse students and uh, put together this concert. Uh, there was music that was played on electric guitars, there was a choral piece, uh, there were some pieces for uh, strings and piano and also some songs that were written. And the composers um, all have very unique approaches to their art. In creating music, students use their creativity to make music using various tools. If, when you enter the class, uh, you don't need to necessarily have uh, any composition experience at all, any writing experience. Um, in fact, and through the class, you will learn how to use this program finale uh, to notate. You'll learn a lot of techniques for how to write music, how to put music together. The concert was a success, and it was a great opportunity for students to express themselves and present what they learned over the course of the semester. If you have a love for creating your own music, be sure to talk to Mr. Hull about joining the Creating Music class next year. This just in. What's up guys, welcome to the Roar Star. My name is Malik and I'm about to give you guys an update on what's good with Franklin this week, all right? So first, we got Talent Show auditions today, right after school. Tomorrow, make sure you wear your blue shirts to support the prevention of bullying. And we can't forget about Saturday, Jazz Cabaret on the 7th, all right? Like I said, we're pouring here from the Roar Store. Make sure you guys come check it out, all right? If you missed any of that, make sure to look in the description below on our YouTube page. And now it's time to announce this week's Uproar winners. I nominated Megan St. John for being a fabulous lab partner, helping students who need help, and always working hard to get caught up. I nominated Brianna Jenkins. She has been an outstanding student for me this past semester. 
She was engaged in the materials, and last but not least, she was somebody who was extremely helpful. Whenever there was a problem, let's say, uh, with Moodle, she was the one who would, would come in and help me. Congratulations to Megan and Brianna for not only striving to be their best selves, but also encouraging others to do so as well. I bet they haven't seen the inside of this room. Mark your Google Calendar. Coming up on February 17th and 18th, there will be a registration event for this year's Relay for Life. So stay tuned for more information on how you can get involved in the fight against cancer. Well, that's all we have for you today on the Saber Roar. I'm Jesse. And I'm Jamie. I hope that you have a great rest of your week. And don't forget to serve your detentions. Or better yet, don't get them. Live the Saber Pride and be respectful, ready, and engaged in school. Didn't I tell you guys there's no talking in detention? This is your last warning. If you're going to continue, I'll cross your names off the list and your time won't count, okay?